I've got two new products from Lorac to share with you guys today. One is the Lorac Nude Necessities eyeshadow palette and the other one is one of their new blushes which I only picked up one of these. I actually wasn't even going to purchase <laughs> any of these and then I got quite a bit of inquiry on them and people asking me what I thought of it or if I was going to get it and so I told myself if I go when I go to Ulta on Thursday if they have it in the store I'll pick it up and here the lady went and looked in the back and she pulled it out of the back for me so I was like Alright, I'm gonna get her done. <laughs> I'll start off with the blush that I purchased. It's called uh, Buildable Blush and this is a matte color. It is in the shade Technicolor. And this is 0.14 ounces of product and the packaging is quite nice. It's got a, a magnetic closure and it's like a steel gray color and there is the shade. I do have this on my cheeks today and I have to say this is a nice blush. I didn't have to like grind my brush into it to pair up any product. Just a nice little dab in there and it went right on my cheeks and blended very nicely so I was happy with that. I may I may pick up a few sh few more shades. I really like the purple. I just they, they didn't have a tester display out so I wasn't able to you know swatch them all so I just winged it and went, <laughs> went with this one but I do really like the uh, blush formula. So I'll give you guys a swatch of this guy. It's like really smooth. Right there. It's a, like a corally pink shade. Um, this next one here is the palette. I'm really happy that they went with a plastic instead of their cardboard. I know they like to do a lot of cardboard in their packaging, but this is a hard plastic, so I like that. And inside of here, there are 12 very nude, natural nude eyeshadow colors and there's 0.6 ounces of product in here which averages out to be about 0.05 ounces per eyeshadow which is a good amount of product for each shade that's in here. I did use this on my eyes today and also the blush which there will be a demo towards the end of the video if you're interested in that but um these shadows I was really surprised um that they weren't as dusty and thin as some in the Lorac Pro palettes. Now I know a lot of people love the Lorac Pro palettes. Um, I don't mind the shimmers, although they can get quite messy, like they're really soft, but the mattes in those palettes just, they're so thin in texture and they're very, very dusty. I felt like these ones were more substantial and I did blend matte from the crease all the way upwards and they blended really nice. So I was really happy about that. I was worried about this not having a deep enough crease shade. You know, I'm pretty pale so I did use this deepest brown in here in the crease and it was enough to define for me. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out for skin tones that are deeper than mine having this be the darkest shades in this palette. The shadows in this palette are very natural, very nude, very natural. <laughs> like you can see in the viewfinder a lot of the shades look very similar. I suppose when I swatch them out you'll be able to see just how similar some of the shades are. I'm just happy the mattes in this palette aren't the same formula as the mattes in the pro palettes because I, I really have to be careful and precise and really take my time when I go ahead and try to use the pro mattes which I don't actually use them very often because they there's just so much better matte eyeshadows out there. I know a lot of people love them they just do not work for me but this is a different formula and these worked really nicely for me. So here's the palette up close. It does collect fingerprints. Here's the back. <laughs> you can see me in the reflection there. And then it does have a mirror that holds itself, well, let's see. Yeah, it holds itself open, so if you do like to use mirrors. For matte shades, you've got this white, this brown over here, this brown. I'm going to say this brown, this brown. We're just going to go with brown the whole way, <laughs> except for this one. Um, this white, this brown, this brown, this brown. Um, this one's got a little bit of a satin uh, sheen to it. And then these two right here are matte. So you got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six mattes in here and six... Uh, shimmer slightly frosty, but no nothing in this is going to be over the top. I think if you're a really natural nude eyeshadow lover, this is the one for you. So let's swatch these by three here. Start off right there. I'm going to try to swatch these all in a row on the same arm so hopefully these browns so you can contrast them a little bit better than if I don't. Then these next guys. And 
and then the last row. So there is the entire palette. Showing up pretty true to color there. I almost wish that there was two versions of this that came out. One that was, you know, this light one, and one that was a little bit deeper because um, a lot of these shades probably aren't going to be as distinguishable on different skin tones. But um, one thing that I was happy with was they built for me and they blended, which is something I do have troubles with, especially with the Lorac Matte formula, and they worked out pretty nice. I do have good luck with the unzipped palettes. This kind of, this formula kind of felt a little bit more like those, I guess. Um, I had very minimal fallout as well, which usually, um, Lorac shadows could be quite, when you put your brush in there, they kick up quite a bit of product, and I usually get more fallout with them, so I was happy with that as well. Nothing particularly unique about the shades or anything, just a very nude, neutral, natural, <laughs> um, wearable eyeshadow palette right here. Another thing, this is an Ulta exclusive, and it was $30, which I don't think for the amount of product that you're getting in the you got the hard plastic packaging 12 shades at 0.05 five ounces a piece I didn't think the price on this was bad the blush was $22 which that was a little that was a little up there in price now if you're interested in seeing these eyeshadows perform and me putting on the blush you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now the blush shade that I purchased is in the shade Technicolor and I'm gonna use that, it says it's a matte finish. I'm gonna use it on a Wayne Goss number 14 brush. I'm gonna give that a tap too. That's pretty. Oh boy, <laughs> this is really nude for me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into that color on a Goss number 18 brush. And I'm going to pack that on the center of the lid. I already primed with the um, NYX eyeshadow base is in one mixed with three. Then using the side of that same brush, I'm going to pick up this one. And both of these are like, um, they're not too shimmery, but they're, they have shimmer in them, I guess. For, not, not, mm, not so much, mm, slightly frosty. <laughs> Then using a Chickahoda GSN 9, I'm going to go into this color right here, which it looks to be a matte finish. Yeah, it's a matte finish, and it seems to be the darkest brown in the palette. So I'm going to start out here. I, I'm kind of having to pack it um, or go back into the pan quite a bit to get product. Now using a Hakuhoto J5523 brush, I'm going to go into this color right here, which is also matte. And I'm going to start blending out that brown that I put in the crease. And I already kind of feel like these are more substantial and they have a little bit more to them. They're not quite as soft and dusty as the ones in the Lorac Pro palette. So hopefully this is gonna work out. I'm blending matte on matte here, so see how she goes. Not bad. I do have just a little bit of fallout here. Less than I had expected at least. Now I'm going to take this Chickahoto Jason 7 brush and go into this color right here, which also appears to be a matte color. I'm going to put that under the brow right here. Blend this. On a Hakuhoto J5533 brush, I'm going to dip into this color again and just go into that crease a little bit more right here. Not a lot though, I'm surprised that I didn't have to pick up a more, like the highlight blended very nice. So there's the eyeshadow done, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. 
For lips, I might as well go with the nude theme. I've got the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Ex-Girlfriend Lip Liner and Lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the liner. And then right from the bullet, I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in. So there's the overall finished look using these two new products from Lorac. I believe it's from their spring 2016 collection. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.